extreme productions. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to add graphics to a World of Warcraft interface. First of all, I just reinstalled World of Warcraft, so you will see that I have not even a single add-on installed. I just created a female dry night cheek to show you guys how the add-on works. As you can see, there are no add-ons, I just set up the basic graphics for World of Warcraft with a default UI. In this tutorial, I just downloaded a graphic package from WoW Interface called Gigantic Texture Pack. Ok, let's download and unzip the package. Let's open the folder so we can see what kind of graphics are in it. Let's take Chuck Norris and his head, so we can play Chuck Norris in game. Now right click and copy the file and move to your World of Warcraft direction. In this tutorial I'll just create a folder with the name GFX and paste the graphic into it. In the next step we're going to download KG panels. Here you see the Curse Client where you can download every single add-on for World of Warcraft. It's not a problem if you don't have the Curse Client, you can also google the add-on as well and download it from another site. Now we're gonna start World of Warcraft again and log in. Make sure that the add-ons are activated before you log in. Ok, let's get Chuck Norris head into the game. I type in KG Panels Config to open the add-on menu. Click on Layouts to create a new layout for your interface. In my tutorial I'm gonna name the layout Chuck Layout. Hit the button OK and click on Create. As you can see, the created layout appears on the left side of the add-on menu. You can activate, export or delete the layout if you click on the Chuck Layout. In the next step we're going to click on Art Library. Type in the artwork name, in my case Chuck Artwork, and hit the button OK. Now we have to set the artwork path. This step is the most common problem for users because if the artwork path is wrong, the graphic will not appear. Basically the add-on shows your World of Warcraft main direction. This is the way the path starts. You have to ask yourself, where is the graphic? We placed it into the interface add-ons GFX direction. It's also important that you type the correct name, including small and big letters. The artwork path starts with a double backslash, so we type in backslash backslash interface backslash add-ons backslash gfx backslash chuck norris head point tga hit the ok button and the add button to add the graphic to our artwork if you open the drop down menu for backgrounds you will see our graphic with a small thumbnail if you can't see the thumbnail of our graphic your path is wrong or the file doesn't exist now we are going to create a panel for our graphic in my example I'm gonna type in Chuck Panel. Hit the OK and Create button to create our panel. The panel is now created and we can move it around. I will just clear it up that you guys can see what's happening. First of all we are going to the texture options where I can choose our graphic. Click on the drop down menu and choose the artwork, in our case Chuck Artwork. As you can see our graphic is added to the panel. Now we have to set up some settings to get our full quality. Click on the panel to set up the basic settings for the panel. Let's delete our panel border by clicking on the color picker. Move the transparency button to the bottom. Now we're going to set the transparency of our graphic to 100% and the background color to white to get our normal quality of the picture. The next important thing is the level of our graphic. As you can see, our graphic is behind our unit frames. If we 
we set the level to the top, the graphic will be on the top of our interface. Lock the panel when you have done all your settings. And guys, we just created Chuck Norris in-game! Yay! Thanks for watching and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe if you want to see more boobs in the future. Uh, videos. <laughs> Cheers!